Good morning everyone. Uh, this is a quick video review for the Acer 41, or I'm sorry, let me just start over. This is a quick video review for the Acer 1410-2039. It is a, I will call it a netbook style notebook. Uh, and they say you can't actually call it a netbook because it's over a 10 inch screen and uh, it is uh, has a Celeron processor, which is a notebook processor, not traditionally used by netbooks. Most netbooks will use an Atom processor, Atom 270 or an Atom 280. Now, in my choice in arriving at this one, uh, I felt like the Atom processor was too slow. I have a fast enough computer here uh, where I work in this Dell Precision that's very large and obviously not very portable at almost 10 pounds that when I went home I didn't want to forfeit and go with something that was extremely slow. Uh, so I kind of tried to draw the line in the middle. Uh, I've come across back into the PC world as a former Mac user and, and actually still a Mac user and so I wanted something uh, that maybe would help bridge the gap just a little bit more as I'm not the biggest fan of Windows XP uh, so I wanted to give Windows 7 a shot also which this Acer came equipped with uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. Uh, I want to look at a couple of the cons, some of the negatives that I have about this machine first so you can see it right off the bat. Uh, the first of which is the mouse or the trackpad, whatever you choose to call it, it's a mouse uh, function and uh, it's it's you can see I'm gonna bring it up close so you can see you can see the textured uh, palm pad right here at the edge of the keyboard and then the mouse itself uh, is a smooth area uh, in between and it's kind of a, a widescreen shape um, like the screen is uh, but the the downside of it is is that it can be hard to find it's not recessed or it's not raised and so it can make it difficult to find and that becomes a little frustrating now I will say after several hours of use, I've had this for two weeks now, uh, and that may seem too short to post a review, but I have spent several hours on it. After several hours of use, uh, you get a better feel for uh, the touchpad, where it is, uh, and how to use it. Uh, another downside are the speakers, which are found on the bottom of the of the notebook itself and that's a downside uh, not so much if it's on a table because it has nice rubber pads to sit on if it's on a table and it will amplify the sound out from under if it's on your lap it muffles it pretty bad so even with uh, sound all the way up on the system and uh, sound all the way up on on the uh, on the the function keys uh, it can still make it pretty hard to hear. The other thing is the webcam that's kind of a con. Uh, it's a little bit in the pro area too and I'm gonna have to speed up. But this uh, is only a 1.3 megapixel camera. On my Dell, I have a two megapixel camera. Uh, it's a lot higher quality and it picks up movement a lot better. This has, this makes ghost trails and uh, things like that. Now, over into the positive side of it, uh, the pros far outweigh the cons in my opinion. Now, I bought this Acer uh, actually as an alternative to the Dell that I wanted, uh, the Dell um, EC1440U, and the, when I went around to buy it, the only one they had was the red one, and it was $440. Well, the identical Acer, which by the way, they came out of the same factory, the identical Acer, um, same specs and everything, was approximately uh, $40 less, and it was the black one, which is what I wanted. It's got a gloss coat, which I don't care for too much. It fingerprints up real bad, uh, but that's kind of a minor detail. I'm not too worried about the exterior of it. Uh, so, but the size and weight, the screen is a positive. It's 11 and a half inch screen over just uh, what a 10 inch netbook is. However, while it gives you ample size, you can see that compared to the Dell, it is still a drastic difference. Uh, along with that, it only weighs three and a half pounds. So the size and the weight make it ideal to carry. It's not so small that I just feel like I'm gonna break it every time I pull it out. So uh, it's starting to seem to be really hand handy and the screen is a full like, uh, 1340 or 1320 by 768, whatever the specs are. I'm not entirely sure about those, uh, but it is a very, very sharp screen. It is a gloss screen, so you will catch some glare where like you can see on my Dell here, uh, comparatively, it is a matte screen. So um, that is a little bit of a downside, but the screen is bright enough uh, that it will almost blind you. I'm gonna boot this up 
Another positive about this is the, the fast startup um, with Windows 7. You open it up, hit the space bar, and bam, there it is. And all you have to do is click. I have it locked to where it's just automatic login, so all I have to do is click it. Uh, and it'll load me up and there I am with Facebook last night and the screen itself the settings can be so bright um, even on the highest setting when I'm in a lighted room uh, I, I can't even handle it it actually hurts my eyes it's so bright the battery life is awesome they advertise it at about uh, six hours I've heard some people say with a similar computer the gateway version that they can get eight hours out of it uh, if they're really efficient if they set it on power saver mode and they take the screens brightness way down and they're not doing video chat and things like that uh, so that's an upside. The other upside for this uh, 11 and a half inch screen size is the keyboard, which has full size keys. Now they're not tapered on the side like a lot of keyboard keys will be. They're just flat, straight across. You can see it's just it's flat. Uh, but if you can find your home keys F and J, uh, it actually is very speedy, very smooth, and the keys break over really crisp. And and I am extremely satisfied with the keypad. Uh, on the upside, or, or the keyboard, not the keypad. On the upside, the um, the webcam. Uh, now I said that was kind of a downside earlier because of the resolution, however it does actually work pretty well on Skype and it says the webcam is optimized for low light video chatting and uh, I can vouch for that. It actually does really well in low light. uses the ambient light from the screen to help pick you up uh, and, and uh, help the light suck in more light a lot better so that actually does work really well. Another upside which was part of my downsides is the keypad. The keypad, uh, while it can be hard to recognize, it has multi-touch, so you can enlarge and shrink. Uh, it's small enough where it's hard to use two-finger scrolling, uh, like f for web or documents or stuff. So I pretty much only use the multi-touch with the uh, with the enlarging uh, web pages and things like that because the screen is small and it's super high resolution. The print can be hard to read sometimes. Uh, Performance-wise, it has two gigs of RAM and a 250 gig hard drive. Like I said, it's a Celeron process. It is a wireless end computer. Uh, one one um, difference from uh, actual netbooks is that it does not uh, it does not pick up 3G data. So you couldn't uh, you couldn't just go hook it up to a service plan. However, there are three USB ports, two here and one over here, that you could plug a data card into if you if you really really wanted to do that. Uh, Windows 7 uh, that comes on this is Windows 7 Home Premium, which I like a lot more than the netbooks that come with Windows 7 because those just come with Windows 7 Starter. So you would have to upgrade uh, if you even wanted to if you felt like the performance could handle it. All in all, uh, it is a nice compact lightweight at three and a half pounds little netbook the power source for it is small so uh, you're not adding a, a power brick that's as big as the computer this Dell is absolutely massive and it's just not worth carrying so um, at four hundred dollars I don't think you can go wrong. I'm only two weeks in, so I don't know that much about reliability. But uh, if you're interested in performance size, uh, just kind of looking for for some feedback in that area, I do not think you would be disappointed. So I uh, hope this helped out.